วัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Some of you may know that Thailand has a very long coastline, and we've got terrific seafood. So naturally, there are tons of seafood restaurants, and the dish that we're going to make today is one of the classic seafood dishes that's on every seafood restaurant's menu. It's something called gung op wun sen. Now, gung is shrimp. Op means to cook something sort of in an enclosed space, and wun sen is glass noodles. So we're going to have super gingery, peppery. Glass noodles cooked in a pot with shrimp. Mm, it's so good, and it's kid friendly too. Let's get started. First, we're going to make the sauce for the noodles to absorb and cook in. So I've got here some chicken stock, unsalted though. And now I'm going to add some oyster sauce, some soy sauce. To add a little bit of color, I'm going to add black soy sauce, which I've used many, many times before. It's not very salty; it's quite sweet and molassesy. I'm going to add a little bit of sesame oil. Adds a nice aroma. Works really well with the ginger, which we're going to use. To cut all that salt, we just added some sugar. I know you can use chopped up palm sugar, but I'm just going with straight regular sugar for today. That's it. That's the sauce. How easy is that? Okay, I am using glass noodles today, and they're made from bean starch. Actually, they're Made entirely from mung beans. A lot of times it'll say bean vermicelli, bean threads. In the ingredient list, it should just say bean starch or mung bean starch or something like that. You soak it in room temperature water for 10 minutes to soften them up. It'll be soft and pliable like this, and then it's easier to deal with. Transfer the noodles into a bowl that's quite wide. Pour the sauce all over it. See, if it's a wide bowl, the noodles will be sitting more evenly in the sauce. If it's a narrow bowl, all the sauce will be on the on the bottom, and then all the noodles sitting on top. So I'm gonna give this a quick toss. So I'm using head-on shell-on shrimp, and in Thailand, we always use head-on shell-on shrimp for this recipe. In fact, as a little fun fact, in Thailand, when you buy shrimp, they're always head-on shell-on. Okay, Western grocery stores are probably not going to have them, so look at Asian grocery stores, places with a seafood counter, or at seafood shops where they get sort of fresh seafood directly from the boat. And the shell and the fat and the head, see all this orange stuff, that's going to come out and be a part of the flavor. It's going to add so much shrimp. Flavor in there. All I did here was I used scissors to trim off the long antenna, so it's not just kind of getting tangled in with the noodles, and then cut through the back and remove the vein. If you want, you can also cut off the sharp, pointy edge on the head of the shrimp, especially if you have kids. That can be quite sharp. And I'm going to add my shrimp in. Give it a quick toss again. For the first toss, I'm going to let the shrimp sit in the bottom. And halfway through, sort of after a few minutes, I'm gonna come and toss it again, and now I'm gonna put the noodles on the bottom. So you know, give everybody a little bit of love. So while this is sitting, we're gonna prep our herb paste. So I've got some white and black peppercorns. If you're gonna make this for kids, go a little lighter on the pepper. So get it ground up. Gotta start out gently, otherwise they jump out at you. And then I'm gonna go in with some garlic. And I'm just gonna crush it until they're broken into pieces. I'm not gonna turn this into a paste or anything. And that way, you get little chunks of softened garlic. Hmm, that's extra good. Cilantro stems. You can also use cilantro roots if you've got some. Crush them, bruise them just slightly to re help them release their aroma. Just a couple times. Bum bum bum. Done. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this in my pot. So for this, you need a pot with a lid. And traditionally. The the dish gets served right in the pot it is cooked in. So if you've got a nice Le Creuset or some clay pot that can withstand direct heat from the stove, and you can double it as a serving bowl as well, use that. I don't have anything nice enough that can actually go on the stove, so I'm gonna cook it in just a regular pot for now. In goes the herb paste. Okay, and then I'm gonna add ginger. This is the key ingredient in Kung Op Wun Sen is ginger. If you're cooking this for kids, go light on the ginger. But this is not chili spicy, so it's not gonna be as sharp and as stingy. And I'm gonna add some vegetable oil. Okay, I'm gonna admit something here. Traditionally, they don't use vegetable oil; they use pork fat. So what they'll do is they'll have Small pieces, slices of pork fat, or slices of pork belly to line the bottom of the pot, and it prevents the noodles from sticking, and it helps lubricate the noodles. But I just thought, I mean, it's how practical is it for you to go out and buy a piece of pork belly 
or pork fat only to use just a little bit so I just use vegetable oil works just as well and it's way healthier too but if you've got you know pork belly or pork fat sitting around go for it okay that's it time to cook and cook the herbs get the flavor molecules activated and released into the oil so that the oil will then help flavor the rest of our noodles so just get that to sizzle you don't have to cook this or brown this or anything just get it so that you can start to smell all the aroma your noodles and all the sauce because the noodles really need all that liquid to cook the shrimp are placed strategically on top because the noodles need more heat and take longer to cook they need more liquid to cook they need to be on the bottom and the shrimp will cook quite quickly and I'm gonna close that and here's the thing I'm gonna wait until I can hear the sauce boil now that I can hear the sauce boiling I'm gonna turn it down to medium low because if it's high it'll scorch the bottom because we don't have pork fat lining the bottom of the pot so we have to be quite careful with our heat and I'm gonna let this go for three minutes so it's been three minutes I'm gonna get in there and stir and redistribute the juices and at this point you can you don't have to worry about keeping the shrimp on top if you've got head on shrimp what I like to do also at this point is use my tongs and just squeeze around the head a little bit and release all that tamale all that shrimp fat into the sauce so watch I just give it a little squeeze and all this red shrimp fat comes out I mean it's kind of gross right now but trust me it's a lot of really good flavor cover it for two to three more minutes just gonna give it one last check here mmm I'm gonna add just a splash of stock it's done but I need I just want it to be a little bit more luscious and that's it it's done how easy is that so I'm gonna cheat a little bit and serve it in sort of a clay pot so it looks like I cooked it in this thing, but I didn't. In goes the noodles. Ooh. The shrimp go on top. If you can avoid the ginger, you don't have to put it in unless you actually want to eat the pieces of ginger. But the little pieces of garlic, you definitely want that. While it's still hot, you wanna go in with some green onions you can also do Chinese celery, close it. This is why it's made in a pot that's served in. You want the residual heat to wilt and distribute that green onion aroma in there. And so at a restaurant, they'll do this and by the time they bring it to you all the, and open this at the table, you smell everything, including the fresh green onion flavor or Chinese celery, whatever you want in there. So give it, you know, one minute. Da 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 da! Mmm. Mm, that smells so good. Normally, we eat this with rice. Even though it's a noodle dish, this isn't something you sit with and then just eat a bowl of it. If that's what you want to do, I would cut down on the seasoning a little bit because it's quite strong. So that's why we eat it normally with rice or with other dishes. Some of you might be wondering, well, how do I, now that I've got a shrimp with shell on, how do I get it out? Well, it's super easy. Let me show you. I just use a spoon and pry out the shell like that because we already cut it open. And then I only want one bite, right? So I just pull it out. Ta-da! See? Easy, easy peasy. Oh, love that smell. Mm. Shrimp is so much more flavorful when cooked in the shell. You can really taste the difference between the sweetness of the shrimp here and when you get, you know, peeled and deveined shrimp already. A little bit spicy from the pepper and the ginger and so flavorful. That onion adds that little, that little pungence that works so well. Oh my God, every time I eat this, I get like a big flashback of being in Thailand. That flavor, it's so iconic and it tastes like nothing else actually. It's really, really a unique flavor. I hope you give this a try. The recipe, as always, will be on HatThaiKitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo. It's such a pretty dish. I'd love to see them. Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And I'll include some of them in my monthly newsletter. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, please do so right here. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.